Hey, Ian. How are you feeling? You know what? I feel good. I guess I have you to thank for that. You would have done the same for me, right? Well, thank you. You saved my life. Yeah. I thought Victor was working tonight. No, he's not. He's not here. I, uh, was already looking for him. Something wrong? I wanted to talk to him about that watch you found in the woods. I think I know what happened to them. How do you know Amy has? Amy, I saw Paige with him. What? I think we need to have a talk. So there are two strange watches. Owned by two women who pretend they've never met before. But they obviously have. They just don't want anyone else to know about it. And they both have fake covers on their watches? And Amy was panicking when her watch was setting off Victor's machine. Now, wait a minute. The ground where that light hit New Year's Eve did the same New Year's day. Eve, right, yes. That's the same day Paige and Amy came to town. It's getting very bizarre. We have no idea how either one of them would react if they find out how much we already know. What, well, you think Paige is dangerous? No. No, I don't. What about Amy? I don't... I don't think so, but on the other hand, I mean... Uh, on the other hand, we don't know anything for sure at this point. Okay, you're right. No confrontation, so what do we do? Victor left this at the lighthouse. Now, I saw the hand on Paige's watch move. You did? The watch vibrated, and then it moved to the number six. Six? Victor said it moved from 13 to 12 before someone stole it. Okay, so we know it moves backwards, and it's moved seven places. But seven what? What are the increments? Hours, weeks, what? What are... Victor said he found a watch on New Year's, right? That's seven weeks ago, right? Well, then it's... It's a weekly calendar, but why 13? Amy said she's leaving in six weeks. Now, six and seven, that's 13. So the watch is marking the weeks. From the time Amy and Paige got here? Until the time that Amy's planning on leaving. But something's gotta happen when the watch hits 13. But what? Ian's been wonderful. He's trying to get to me. And I let him for a moment. But it won't happen again. Don't worry, Papa. I won't be fooled. when I left. But you helped me come home and you wanted to play, didn't you? Yes, you did. That's all right. Come in. You know what? I'm glad you did, because I have a surprise for you. Do you want to see? Yes. Look. It's a sweater. Isn't it pretty? I have one just like it. It goes beautifully with our colour. That way, you and I can look just like Mummy and Daughter. Okay, Amy. Let's see if there's something in this picture I might have missed before. Hey, it isn't the mystery woman. Good morning, Sherlock. And what are we up to this morning? Oh, well, we're still digging. Hmm. Any luck? Soon. Very soon. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. You've been spending all this time trying to sniff out my secret, and I haven't got one. <laughs> oh, Amy. Everybody's got secrets. All right. That's it. Where is it? Where's what? You know what? Hand it over. What? My hospital ID. I had it right here. Well, then it should still be there. Well, it would have still been here if you hadn't stolen it for your silly investigation. Amy, I already have 
one silly picture of you, why would I need your ID? I don't know, okay? All I know is that it's missing. And if it's not here and you say you don't have it... I don't. Fine. Then where is it? You just happened to find Amy's ID just lying around? Never mind how I got it. Just scan it so I can get it back to her before she starts missing. Let's just hope Victor's contacts at the agency have the information we need. Like, how are Amy and Paige connected? Yeah, how? That's the question. Well, let's hope they have more than they both wear a strange watch, and the watch points to the number six. And that Amy's leaving in six weeks. Well, we don't know what Paige's plans are. OK, the email's ready. I just attach the scan. OK. Before we know it, we might have the information we need. And there it goes. There goes what? What did you find doctors up to this morning? Oh, well, you, you heard that, Ian. What are oh, we no, up to? I heard that, sure. It must be very interesting, considering the way you two are manning that machine like arm guards. No, no, <laughs> no we're, uh, well, we're, uh, we're it, working together. It, it, right. On a case? Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh. Uh, Ian has a patient uh, who we think is withholding some information. Yes, yeah, so he wanted oh. to discuss the psychology, see if we could find a way to break and down the barrier. Well, the mysterious parts of the case that I don't right. know. Right, right, exactly. Which is good, which is good, because uh, I did want to explain something to you. Um, I'm afraid this case will take up quite a bit of my time, and that means moon landing as a portrait painter will have to take a back seat for a while. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But you understand. Well, of course, yes. I mean, we can just start up again as soon as you guys have finished. Uh, well, that's just the thing. This case could tie me up for weeks. Months. Months? Well, it's, it's, but... a, it's an interesting case, so we, we're trying to write it up, you know? Yeah. But, but, but Kevin, you can't. I mean, I, I can't. I, I don't have that much time left. Well, I just assumed you would understand that my work has to come first, Paige. But the portrait is... It's just going to have to wait. But, but it can't wait, Kevin, because I have to leave. Well, where exactly are you going? Back home. To England? There are some things that I need to take care of, and I, I need to go back. Well, I mean, there's no reason why we can't pick this up again once you come back here. I won't be coming back here, Kevin. Not for a long time. That's why it's so important to finish the portrait now. Oh. Well, when are you leaving? Soon. How soon? Um, six weeks. Six weeks? That soon? That soon. Well, I think I just found the first clue as to what your secret might be. Really? Yeah, it's in this this picture I have of you. Oh, God, not that stupid picture again. You're wearing a necklace. Yes. Yeah. This. It's not me. Oh, no. No, it's definitely you. But the initials are wrong. Well, you see? It, it's not A.S. Amy Stradling. It, it's A.H. So? So I'm wondering what the H stands for. Come on, Amy. What's your name? And what's your real name? Isn't there some way that we could finish the portrait before I leave? Please. I mean, I'll post you any time you have a spare moment. Midnight, dawn. I promise you'll try. I don't see why we can't work it into the schedule, right? Well, if she's only has six weeks left. Does that mean you'll try? Of course, I'll try. We'll make it work. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh. It means so much. I mean, you have no idea. Yeah. Thanks. But I'll let you two get back to work. Ian? Mm-hmm. So Amy and Paige are both leaving in six weeks. But where? Why is this portrait so important to her? I don't know. No, I thought question. she was going to go nuts when you said that you weren't going to finish it. Something strange about it. <sighs> she has a secret. Yeah, but trust me, she is not some alien shape forming pod person clone from a B-movie. Are you sure about that? Things pop up around here. I grew up with this woman. Uh -huh. She knows things about me no one else could possibly know. That is Paige, the real Paige. Maybe it's not the Paige you remember. Maybe something happened to her. And to Amy. Maybe that's what connected them. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What? You say you know Paige, you can vouch for her. Right, right. But Amy's a stranger. No, but she isn't. Not to everyone in this town. There's someone who thinks he knows her from his past. Who? Chris Ramsey. What's my real name? Yeah. And forget about telling me that you don't know what I'm talking about. I would like to forget all about this conversation. I've got yeah, too many important things And forget about changing to... the subject. You want to talk about this subject? 
I am exactly who I say that I am. I have no deep, dark secret other than I don't floss every day. Oh, that's, that's funny. No, you know what's funny, or, or rather sad? Is that a man like you has so little to do with his life that he's sitting down with some dime store magnifying glass looking hey, at I a picture of I will have you that know that I actually paid $25 for this <sighs> magnifying glass, and I had the picture enlarged anyway. That was pretty clever, huh? No question about it, Chris. You're out of your mind. Mm -hmm. No question about it, Amy. You're lying. Now, I may not know what your secret is just yet, but I'm getting there. Well, how about try getting a life? Hmm. That might help. Yeah. You know, maybe you're right. In fact, could you maybe give me a few tips? On what? Come on, you know what? <laughs> Starting a new life. <laughs>